Today's video from Sharper, we're taking a look at the error messages EJ near fall or EJ data fall on the XCA203, 206 or 20S registers. So if you're in the reg mode processing sales transactions, um, the tool lets you um, put the sales transactions through and they complete, but then you get when you complete the transaction, you get a quick message come up that says EJ near full or EJ data full. It basically machine means that the electronic journal uh, running inside the machine is either nearly or completely full. So depending on your programming you'll have between six and nine thousand um, journal lines and unfortunately the only way to clear this error message is to print and reset um, the electronic journal. So you, this can take a bit of time as I'm now going to demonstrate and it also can use up a bit of till roll but what I'll do is I'll start the process, I'll show you the process, what I do to reset the EJ and then I'll talk about how you can avoid this happening in the future while the journal's printing out. So you need to turn the key round to the X1, Z1 position and then the code to type in to reset all the data is 700, so 700 if you've got access to the manual and getting this information from page 76, you've got to be really careful here. There's a read-only version of the report you can do, um, which is the X version of the report, which will print out all the electronic data, EJ data, but it then won't reset it. So we're going to run the Z version, which means you press the decimal point, then the multiply button, and then the TLNS. So it's really important to press the decimal point else you use all this paper, get all this information out, but you don't actually ever clear the error message. Um, so the way of avoiding this happening in the future, and I'll post a separate video showing you how to set this up, is that you can force the till to print and reset the electronic journal every time you run the daily Z report. Um, so you do get a longer than normal Z1 report at the end of every day, but it means that you don't have this massive build-up of um, Pro, um, journal lines in the tills memory. So if we take a look at some of the information that's printing out, I mean the journal's quite useful and most cash registers will have them. Um, so this looks like a lot of paper being used, which it is, um, but if you had a twin roll version of this machine or a twin roll cash register, you'd have a journal on it anyway. So the journal would be printing, it's just that this looks worse because obviously it's all printed in one go. So basically the journal, if you're not familiar with it, is a um, condensed copy of everything that the till's done. So here we have some programming that was done on the 1st of June 2020. Um, on the same day it's 12 past 4, Clark 25, process and sales transactions. So it's a way for manager to retain control over what's going through the cash register. Um, so if there's anything suspicious happening, you can go back. And yes, you have to print out all this information, but that's why it's probably good to get into a routine with it. So if you don't set it to print and reset automatically with every Z1 at the end of every day, you could run this report maybe once a week. Um, so you've got like an electronic journal of the week or journal print out of the week. So I'll post another video showing you how to force this to happen at the end of every Z. Um, and then I'll also show you how you can read the last 10 records. So if you've had a problem on the register within the last hour or so, you can do a quick print out of the last, say, last 10 sales transactions, um, which can be useful if say, a customer says there hasn't been given the right change or there's a problem with a transaction on the till. So in addition to using this in till in receipt mode, so obviously I've got this problem because I'm using the till in receipt mode only, you can use the machine in uh, journal mode. So instead of having a receipt print out with every transaction or the ability to print the receipt with every transaction, you'd have the um, paper feeding onto the spool at the back of the machine. 
which is kind of what I'm doing now by trying to spool it all up. So this is all programming information, so this is obviously some programming carried out on the machine. You can see there that I've programmed, or someone's programmed a PLU to be melon and another one to be sharp. Okay, so the report's ended. So what can happen is you can see how much till roll it uses. He can actually run out of till roll, but you know this one's finished because it's come up with EJ end. Um, you can tell it's actually cleared the journal by running the X version of the report. So this is the report that you shouldn't run. So 700 without the decimal point straight to X and then TLNS and then you know the EJ is totally cleared out. And then when you turn the key back around to the reg mode, and process a sales transaction, you don't get the EJ4 or EJ data near full error message. Okay, I hope that video's been helpful. We've got plenty more videos showing you how to get the best out of the XEA203, in particular looking up at setting that journal to automatically print and reset at the end of every day. So I'm recommending checking that out so you don't have to run that report again. Uh, you can also subscribe to this YouTube channel or visit sharphelp.co.uk for more. Thanks for watching.